Hello everyone, this is Strife with Strife's Talking Points, and I'm going to try and make my first ever video discussing one of the more recent things that's happened. I've um, been watching YouTube for several years now, and I've just decided I want to try and join the conversation, see what people think, probably get mostly completely ignored, but hey, you never know what's going to happen in the world. Uh, here recently, the last weekend, we actually had the March for Life 2019 um, from that, a lot of people, the only thing they know about it is the Covington Boys, where uh, they apparently surrounded it and attacked a Native American while yelling racist slurs and build a wall. All of which, in the span of 48 hours, was found to be not true, and any news outlet that reported it could have actually watched a single two-hour video and turned the audio on and been able to see exactly what was happening and um, it just didn't happen. Uh, so we're going to start here with March for Our Life. Uh, you'll notice a lot of these stories fall back to um, smaller newspapers when you read it or they do very specific skews. Protesters, traffic, um, this right here is actually a story about March for Our Life where they're using a, um, they're talking about the diocese being closed from threats of violence and they just kind of skip everything else. Uh, that's really all that mattered is this boy in a MAGA hat who clashed with a Native American, which we now know he didn't, uh, went viral, went to be a huge thing and actually exposed a big difference between a lot of the people, not on the left and the right, but the people in the middle. Uh, I've always considered myself very much a liberal, and when I've read this stuff, I could not believe it. I've had to explain it to other people. I've had to drop clips on Facebook. I've had to go through Reddit. I've been talking to friends and family, my girlfriend. We've had to cover this because it is unbelievable how wrong and how far this went, how fast. Um, here's one of the things you don't ever hear about when you talk about uh, March for Life, the news, is people who regret having abortions. Uh, one of the unique things is if you ever do decide to have children and you have one and they start growing up and then you look back at you've had one, two, three abortions, well, you've actually have killed um, your children in the past. That is a very hard thing. Uh, I've known people who are now in their 30s and 40s who had an abortion when they were 18 or 19 and that is their greatest regret. They have the worst nightmares about it. They don't talk about that in mainstream. Shout it out. Say how proud you are that you did this. And it's really a very limited group who do it. Um, I don't know. Once you become a parent, the whole idea of killing your child or killing something that could have been your child just will not sit with you. And that is why you see... A lot of people, not only religious people, but secular people, moving out away from the whole idea of abortion as strictly a women's issue. It is not. It is a family issue. Um, if you're alive today, then you started out as a tiny clump of cells that grew into a person. That tiny clump of cells, if unharmed, will very likely turn into a human in the future. And that human will be able to make their own decisions and do their own life. And the person's choice to end that is not. You're essentially choosing to kill another human because of convenience, because it will be a burden on you. And I just, I just don't get it. Um, March for Life Teens confrontation with Native American reveals an ugly divide. It does. If you watch the video, if you listen to the stuff, it was very selectively edited. Look at that, a commercial. Yeah. So that people would only feel one way. You do not take the time to research the video. They did not take time to go through it, even to anything else. Uh, the breakdown falls upon a group of kids who were standing aside steps in an area in front of the Lincoln Memorial waiting on their ride to pick them up buses and they were essentially where here we go confrontation face off you can hear everyone at CNN it again hats is speaking out tonight as the White House says it has quote reached out and voiced our support to the students school and says there could be a White House visit 
these students were standing beside a Lincoln Memorial on the steps out front and they were essentially being shouted at cursed at racial slurs homophobic slurs uh, they actually were threatening to harm telling uh, one child there one child there that the uh, white people were going to harvest his organs a uh, very strange thing and this story blew up and why did it blow up people in this country want to be hateful towards each other um, Covenant Catholic Church is set to reopen on Wednesday due to incidents following this weekend in Washington DC the March for Our Life kids in a Catholic Church went to support pro-life which as a Catholic I am very much pro-life I don't see why it's considered uh, such a hot-button women's issue to be able to go out there oh and here's some um, on this what you see is a news story about Covenant Catholic Church however there is a Native American um, voice of protest from outside the Covington these people are there to protest the children being there the children were at the March for Our Lives so I wonder are these people there supporting the idea that you should kill children um, because that was most of the response on Twitter was attack these children, dox these children, hate these children and who would have thought they are in support of the black Hebrew Israelites a known hate group they are there to express how much they dislike the Catholic Church rally against racism at the Roman Catholic Diocese of Coven this is are the stories you're getting these people protesting children standing up for themselves against a known hate group and this is what we're left with Racism and learned behavior. Yes, that lady there is teaching people how to be racist. This white lady here. Unfortunately for Americans, the far left liberal is probably the worst type of human being. Um, they really do just get into too much hate. Look. Look at this. This is the story that the Courier Journal has decided to go with. Not about how wrong the initial media reports were not about how the black Hebrew Israelites were spotting racist homophobic stuff at the group of teenagers or at the Native Americans and the story is here we are going to protest the church diocese in Covington we're gonna get on a bus we're gonna go down there we're gonna protest why because that's what we need to do We're, oh here we go the movement is in response to an incident in Washington DC when the students of Covington Catholic High School were filmed in an altercation with a Native American man Native American man who's essentially every part of his story has been proven to be false from his own accounts from his live accounts and from basic searches on his history these people are there to create a protest because they need extra media time and the media is more than happy to give it to them um, that's it that's the whole thing these people are pulling up I guess that's about the football team Native American That's, uh, I don't know. Respect my space, don't beat your drum in my face. That's very silly. And here's the pro. Look at all these people. There are probably 40 people there. March for Our Life gets hundreds of thousands, and there's almost no media coverage whatsoever. However, we've got pictures of these people standing outside protesting uh, a child not being murdered by protesters or I don't know what they're protesting it really makes no sense but that's the 
that's the follow-up down here at the bottom. Um, yeah, great, great, great news work. What's it like for secular, liberal, pro-life protesters at March for Life? Well, is that is a great picture. I'm just going to stop right there. I'm with her, the baby. That is, um, that's great, actually. Uh, I really like that. Um, with her, yeah, that's, that makes sense. That's, uh, that's a good cut on Hillary. Very funny. I like it. Uh, um, this goes through how Christianity is abundant at this year's March for Life, really, because people like Christians are the majority religious group in the country, and most Christians are against abortion, uh, strictly because we don't think you should kill children. Most modern Christians are also not really in support of death penalties or things like that because we respect life. Um, Mission of the March advocates abortion rights, suicide. Well, yeah, yeah well, you have common ground on this issue. Okay, we're here in support of the mission of this march. She says there will be a group nearby that advocates for abortion or advocates for the right to suicide, and we're just like, eh, well, have common ground on this issue. All right, so... <clears throat> Yeah, this is just a collection of stories um, trying to delineate, deviate between the religious and the non-religious. Secular pro-life groups tend to put emphasis on scientific evidence, uh, support the idea that human life begins at conception, which I believe now it's 18 weeks a child can live outside of the mother's body. Um, uh, it just goes through various stuff here. This is mostly about how they do or don't get along. <clears throat> Xavier, Xavier, I don't know how to say that, 24, attended the march. Didn't like Ben Shapiro. Uh, ben Shapiro spoke at this. And one of the things Ben Shapiro is, ben, the inclusion of Ben Shapiro, the founder and conservative website Daily Wire and host of the podcast, Ben Shapiro's show, angered some left-leaning and supporters of pro-life cause. Shapiro is a pro-life figure among, not far right, among conservatives. This first part is a lie. Far right hate Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro, if anyone out there listening doesn't know, is a Jewish man. Most practicing Jews, as with most more religious groups, are conservative. Don't know if you know this, but most Muslims are extremely conservative as far as how we think of their views. Um, ben Shapiro is a conservative. In a recent op-ed, Warren Shapiro's invitation to the main stage would alienate non-conservatives from the event. Ben Shapiro went to the event, spoke briefly, and said he would not kill baby Hitler because his pro-life beliefs he would not. He stated he would remove baby Hitler from the family Hitler was in and place him in a different family. The old nature versus nurture. If you removed Hitler from his family, didn't go through the strife and the problems that he went through, maybe he wasn't even in Germany. Would there have been a need to murder him? Interesting question, and apparently that set people off, which <clears throat> makes little to no sense, but hey, this is how these stories are being treated. Find what you can, Push the story you want and go on from there. If you can find any flaws, go for it. If you can find ways to alienate, to find a protest in it, you do that. Oh, this is the uh, hateful tweets at the Coveting Church. Um, <clears throat> this is Wall Street Journal. Now, I saw this and it is very interesting. Um, and we're just going to read real quick through this. One of the major most culturally deplorable boxes one can check in progressive America 2019 the boys of Covington Catholic High School have most of them culturally deplorable boxes what are those culturally deplorable boxes being white yep check being male check Christian check attending March for Life check wearing MAGA hats I don't actually own one of those what's not to dislike now, 
the beginning of a Wall Street Journal opinion page, and since it is his opinion, can start out something like this. But you can see culturally deplorable boxes one can check in Progressive America 2019 is being white. 65% of the population of the U.S. is white, so that means 65% of the culture is deplorable. Being male, pretty sure man versus woman, it's 50-50. So again, check another huge chunk of the population. Being Christian, Christians are the largest religious group in the U.S., so let's get them in there too. So being those three things, and then being pro-life, not wanting Abortion is hugely deplorable in progressive America. The progressives, from studies, are less than 8% of the population, people. They are not this huge group. The progressives are all in media and entertainment, which is why they seem so crazy. Um, going through this, it turns out, Phillips is not a Vietnam veteran, as most of reported. He said that he was never deployed to Vietnam. He apparently had gone AWOL a few times. He knew that he was having racial slurs thrown at him and his group, and the people there were being hateful towards the boys, but he chose to join in. These are all things that have been uncovered. <clears throat> this is Kathy Griffin attempting to dox minors. Kathy Griffin blue check mark and the blue check mark army on twitter should be removed these people who called for attacks there was one guy from disney who posted one about dumping them into wood chippers i don't care if you can be removed from twitter for being on the right for saying anything about a minority these people are actively calling for attacks and violence against children this is crazy. I just, I don't get it. And here is today. Some in the Twitter mob delete or apologize for tweets about Covington students. Some, not all, not all of them. Here it is. This guy, Jack Morrissey. Look at that. Let's murder children. Let's do it. Because that's the America we live on. This man, whatever he does for a living, probably should have his self reviewed. Definitely should be banned from Twitter. Kathy Griffith, banned from Twitter. Anyone they go back through and find that was actively attacking children, wanting children to be attacked, doxxed, gotta go. Just no. Anyway, thank you for listening and hope you have a good day. Please comment below. I'd like to. I'd like to get something going. It's kind of interesting to me. Thank you. Bye.